So I was picking up poop. I was two weeks into my job. And knowing that the path was supposed to be dogs and cats and rats and small animals, and then maybe, you know, the first dangerous animal might be a camel. Are these the types of poop you're picking up? Or, or no, no, that's the path no, you're hoping. That's the, that's the animal training, handling, touching, hugging path. Because you're picking uh, up the poop, hoping that one hour a day you could maybe hug yeah, an animal. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I remember being, um, you know, rolling out my little wheel of poop. And right around the corner, as close as, you know, maybe four times further away from than you and I are, big male lion, big man, no, no trainer behind him, walks around the corner. My eyes widen, I'm like, oh man, but I've always, I, I go back to this picture and I'm like, I've always wondered what he feels like. And in my head, I, rec- I can specifically remember thinking, well, he looks happy, I'm pretty happy, maybe I'll go pet him. So he dude, walks dude, up to me. You're talking about a giant lion, right? 550 now. pound lion. Got it. He was literally, if you remember the movie Ghost in the Darkness? Yeah. He was that lion. Pull. It was that line. So and your instinct is, I'm going to touch this thing. So he comes up to me. He makes a noise, which is what they do. Yeah. And they put his head against me, and I was just like, oh, my God, this is what I always wanted to know. Yeah. And the love and the passion and all that drama hit me in that moment. I was like, yes, this is exactly what I was supposed to be doing. The trainer then comes running out. He, uh, he had, like, obviously, because he's such a good lion, yeah. he was not paying attention. He kind of ran. The zoo wasn't open. So he's like, okay, go for a run. I'll pick you up in a minute. Comes around the corner and says, you shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. You know, a male lion should be eating you, and you should be running. This is how it works when right, somebody right. bumps into a lion. He says, but clearly, if you have a passion and a lion likes you, why don't you come to work every day early, and you can take him for a walk with me. So that, walk the lion, and that, so was, that was part of it. And then, it obviously, I became the big cat guy. From the captive environment, I went on to conservation. When I started in conservation, so when uh, Discovery and Animal Planet found me. Yeah, and that's when you made the jump, and, and here we are. And I'm in television somehow. 